is a, a little startup um, that I am uh, so happy to introduce to you, which is uh, called Facebook. And I think, <laughs> I think we have Joanna Shields, the head of Facebook Europe with us. I'm so happy to have Joanna with us. Joanna. Joanna, can you join us? Welcome, Thank Joanna. You. How are you doing? Very well. I'm going to try to kiss you Congratulations. with the microphones. Oh. It's going to be tough, please. <laughs> yes, of course. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, you can see you have uh, a few people here to yeah. uh, discuss with you. Please. I have a little known trick. I don't wear my contact lenses when they're, I'm on stage. That way I can't see anything. Oh, really? No. <laughs> well, thank you for coming first. It's a pleasure. Because you're, uh, you're pretty busy. Facebook Europe is, uh, yeah. is doing amazing. Mm, very well. Thanks. And I saw you just, uh, you, you just released news today, right? Oh, we have some news for you, I promised. A couple of things. Um, well, first of all, congratulations on the web. Oh, thank um, you. The energy here, I think, is, is extraordinary. We had a developer's garage leading up to this yesterday, and we had about 350 people. Wow. Um, and we've been on a tour recently since the F8 conference where we've I think we've done about 20 events, and each one we have a couple of 100 developers. And I think in this time of economic challenge, you know, entrepreneurship is alive and well, and I'm really excited about the Facebook platform and how we're accelerating development of brand new businesses. So thank you for bringing us all together. No, I'm happy it works <laughs> for you, and I think it's not the only one. You have Facebook yeah. uh, workshops here. We at have the workshops web. here. We have, I think we're all the way through till the end of the yeah. event. We'll be turning the lights off. I have to say, last year, <laughs> Facebook had a, had a workshop here. And yeah. when, I, when I went, uh, I was walking, and you had a huge line of hundreds of people. Yeah. So this year, we gave you a bigger room. Thank you for and, that. And you know what? I, I, think, I think next year, you should have this room <laughs> to do one here. And you're yeah. doing those Facebook garages all around the world. That's amazing. Yeah. So what is, it, what is this well, news? Well, the news we have now, you're a um, prominent figure in this industry and a well-known blogger and um, opinion maker, leader, I should say. So we recently launched the subscribe functionality on Facebook. So the ability for people to subscribe to a particular person and follow their public updates. Um, we've recently, um, today we're announcing a plugin that allows you to do that on your own site. So whatever, whatever new site you're visiting, a celebrity's site, or whatever site you go to will have a plugin that is um, an extension of the, of the subscribe button that enables you to connect immediately to Loic and then receive all of your updates in the newsfeed. So it's really exciting. Updates from? From subscribing to you on any site where you happen to be writing or communicating. Oh, that's great. Very good, yeah. That's great. That's for you today. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, he asked me what I could launch today. Um, we also. Um, so that's a feature you've, you've just yeah, launched. Yeah. Very you, cool. I'll try, I'll try tonight. And um, it's, it's coming out, it's imminent. It's not yet ready, but it's coming. Um, we also today um, released this memography or memology site that talks about the hottest topics on Facebook around the world. Very interesting because, you know, of course, with 800 million people, um, a half a billion coming back every day, there's so much interesting you said, you sort said, of... You said 800 million. Yes, 800 million. No, I'm just, you know... Yeah, <laughs> that's the, the yeah, latest it's, figure. It's a nice portion of the planet, right? It's a nice portion, yeah. And half a billion come back every day. And for those of you who've been in the industry know um, how incredible that is. And since F8, with all of the um, technology that we've... or the partners that we've launched with, the um, social news apps and the social music apps like Spotify and Deezer and other companies that we're working with, Facebook's becoming really interesting. It's about recommendations, social recommendations from your friends, for everything from news to entertainment to um, music. So it's becoming even more interesting. So we hope the half a billion will increase. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, when, when do you think you'll pass a billion? Oh, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I actually try not to look at the figures, so I'm not even tempted to share them. That's a pretty serious number. It is a serious number. Tell me how the, uh, we have a room packed here with uh, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and developers, yeah. um, and they, well, we can see they, 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 they don't fit in any room we give you to integrate with <laughs> Facebook. Uh, is, there, is there anything, so what, what's the latest here? Can you summarize uh, how not only developers, but also brands and mm -hmm. media can, can you know, get the best of uh, Facebook integration? 
Well, I think that Facebook is a brand new medium for many things, for marketing communication, first and foremost. Brands are um, finding you know, social recommendation to be an incredibly powerful tool for communicating with um, their audiences around the world, consumers. Um, the idea that you can connect to a global audience, you know, Facebook brings that to the world for the first time. You know, the idea that you can link with people, um, you can run a campaign and connect with people all around the world. You can um, leverage the power of social recommendation on a regular basis just by better communications with your, your audience or your consumers. You know, because the ad campaign is the beginning and then you acquire what we call fans, the people who make the connection with that brand and say that they're interested in having that brand market to them. But after that, it's about giving them value. So the campaign ends, and it's about continuing to deliver value to the market, to the consumers, and encouraging them to, for what you give them in their updates and things, that they're interesting enough for them to share. So that's, that's really important from tell, a brand tell me, perspective. Joanna, I, I, if I have a brand, mm. I have a brand, it's called The Web. One of them. <laughs> it's but, called Loic uh, oh, well. <laughs> and Le Web. <laughs> um, how they, so I get, I get those, uh, let's say I'm Coca-Cola. That's mm -hmm. easier. Okay. <laughs> <That's your brand. laughs> um, I have, and we, we have a social track, social enterprise track actually yep. on Friday where they will talk about this. I think, um, I think Ferrero, Ferrero has uh, 8 million fans, right? So, right? Yep. Millions. Yep. What do they do, those brands, with those fans? And how, because like, I, my feeling is like last year, it was all about for brands. It was all about how many ads can I buy to get more, which is good for you, I guess. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> of course. <laughs> to get more fans. Mm -hmm. But uh, what do I do with them? Well, I think it's, it's important to make that connection initially with people that love your brand. But then it's about delivering value to them or something of interest to them that is going to encourage them to amplify your message, to share your message with their friends. So the average person on Facebook has 130 friends. So if each person then amplifies a message and shares that in the newsfeed with their friends, something of value to them, um, then you're more likely to connect with people, additional people. So we have this concept called sponsored stories, which enables... Sponsored stories? Sponsored stories, because the essence of Facebook is storytelling. It's you and I sharing our lives, you know, and with the timeline now, it's all the way back to our, our beginnings, which is really exciting. But um, it's that idea of encouraging people to share and amplifying a message on your behalf. So it's but much how, how more of a... That? So let's take this example. Let's say I'm yeah. Nespresso. Nespresso. Because we have a huge, like, who had the Nespresso coffee today? <laughs> Where, did you bring George Clooney here today? I'd love to. Can you help me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we could. Yeah. Uh, Carl came this morning. Oh, right. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so Nespresso, for example, since yeah. they are here, I'm thinking about them. So let's say they have a million fans. Mm -hmm. uh, what should they do best to, to do on their Facebook page or their Facebook... Um, well, I think Nespresso have a very strong community around the Nespresso Club. Yes. So there's a lot of um, activity around, you know, encouraging people to go in and try a new sample, a new flavor. Um, sampling is a is a very um, so exclusive well known things. technique on Facebook that works really well for brands. Um, in fact, recently, Burberry launched a fragrance. And they use Facebook as the way to reach out to their loyal fans. I think they're almost up to 10 million fans, wow. Burberry, to reach out to their loyal um, friends and people who love their brand. And they offered a sample of this new fragrance. And they had you know, over 300,000 people request a sample. And 80% of those people said to Burberry, we'd love to share um, our email address. We want more great things from Burberry. Um, Burberry has been very innovative. They broadcast all of their fashion shows live. So the people that love that brand get a lot of value from the communications that happen in between the marketing campaigns. How about media? There, is, there has been some chat around the fact that media now is so well integrated. Let's take The Guardian. Okay. Yeah. So well integrated into Facebook. That's one of the examples, I think, yep. which has the best integration in Europe. Yeah. Uh, that the audience doesn't go to The Guardian anymore. It stays on Facebook, which is, again, very good for you. But don't you think the, like, those media are kind of threatened as well, that uh, you're, they're not the end destination anymore? Well, I think the news business has been obviously a challenge business for the better part of the decade. Um, news partners of ours, like The Guardian, they developed a social app really going deep with Facebook in terms of our open graph. 
And that application's been downloaded by four million people. So now there's four million people who may have never read The Guardian who are now reading The Guardian. And what's magical about it is that each, of the, each time I read a story from The Guardian, it gets posted in my newsfeed. So all of my friends are now discovering articles from The Guardian. And they might be anywhere in the world. They may have never read The Guardian before, so they're being sent back to The Guardian. They're downloading the app and becoming part of The Guardian network. So that's a really fantastic example of us driving distribution to news outlets. So you, you, like you, you, you've done for games, yes, which exactly. is uh, a huge, of course, success yeah. in Facebook. It's You're an economy, that. I would say. Yes. <laughs> in and of itself. Yeah, what's the revenue around that? Well, I, I don't, I mean, I, I should probably have that figure, but it's, there's so many um, exciting companies in the gaming area Wuga that have built. In, uh, who's, in, in who's Berlin. Speaking Are they afternoon? speaking here? Yes. Yeah. And um, of course, Zynga, which um, I guess their IPO is imminent. Yeah, it's right now, right? So we'll soon know what their value is. But, it, but and, and previously. And Facebook owns a chunk of Zynga? No. No. <laughs> I oh. think someone else does. He might have been here before me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I think so, yeah. I, I heard about that, too. I heard about oh, that. Oh, by the way, when is your IPO? <laughs> oh, Louis. I knew you'd ask me, but of course I can't respond. Good for you for you, asking. You can't, but you should, you should give us an indication, maybe. Oh, no, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I don't want you in trouble, <laughs> Joanna. But it, it's going to be 100 billion, right? <laughs> I was just about to have a drink of water. <laughs> Give me two seconds. You should, you should have some water. I, I heard it was 100 billion, which, was, uh, which I thought was pretty impressive. What, what do you think Look, about I, that? I've been in technology since I went to Silicon Valley in 1987. Um, so I've been involved in a couple of um, very successful companies. And what I've learned over time is you don't think about valuations. You just execute and do the best you can and build the business brick by brick. And I think it's the best approach. But it's 100 billion. Yeah. You're <laughs> no, OK. Well, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I had to try. I'm pretty excited. I'm not a shareholder, though. I'd, I'd love to be one, but you know. Any, any sh Facebook shareholder in the room? Oh, maybe. No? Maybe a few employees, I hope. <laughs> OK, I stopped, Joanne. I, That's I, you know, all right. I well, I you know what I think is really interesting is back to this um, business acceleration, being here at La Web and seeing so many startups that are um, actually taking advantage of the open graph and Facebook login and building social applications and entire businesses built on Facebook, like by putting yep. friends and people's connections at the center of what they're doing. And I think that's really encouraging. I've never seen um, that kind of business acceleration before. You know, the idea that you can reach a global market, that you can find distribution. You know, if you built a product even five years ago and tried to distribute it, you know, um, around the world. Imagine, you know, trying to find somebody to represent you in a country, you know, going through all the process of, you know, building a business externally, growing internationally. I mean, we've leveled the playing field, and there's the barriers to entry are just falling, you know, by the wayside, which is really exciting. Barrier of entry for, for developers and entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. but also barrier of entries for people in the street in some countries, you know, and so we've, we've talked okay. with Eric, obviously, about, you know, yeah. Egypt and Libya and other countries. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always Facebook. You have those images. I wish I would show one now if I should have done that. But yeah. like, um, you see those revolutionaries, basically, mm. with thank you, Facebook. Right? Yeah. What's it your eye on this? You're ba basically becoming the best tool to create a revolution, aren't you? Well, you know, um it's been a remarkable year in that respect, and it's it's awesome and humbling, and you know, um, daunting at the same time. I, I think first of all, we always say that you know it's the brave people in those countries that you know stood up to their governments and used these new social you know platforms to enable um, organizing, and they had the will to do that. So it's really their revolution. Um, I think Clay Shirky said it best. He said that, um, you know, society doesn't change based on technology or revolutions don't happen based on technology. A revolution happens when society changes its behavior. And I think what we're seeing now is, you know, Facebook in particular, but a lot of the social um, networks are really changing how we live our lives and interact with each other. And, you know, that change is profound. And, you know, we're just now starting to discover it as, you know, societies. And I guess social anthropologists will write about this time and they'll look back and say that 
that's when you know, the world became more open and connected, which is really what Facebook is all about. I have exactly the same feeling that uh, people yeah. write about this as a, as a huge They're going to write about it. <laughs> about We're sitting here at this moment in time. Yeah. <laughs> How about competition? Yeah. Um, so we, so I asked Eric just moments yeah. ago, <laughs> and that was an interesting answer, I thought. Uh, yeah, I think it was, it was really interesting. He was talking about, you know, um, competition for Silicon Valley, which I thought was really interesting. And I would agree with Eric. Um, the city, the city clusters are really where the innovation is starting to happen. And I think, you know, Europe, certainly um, Paris, Berlin, London are going to give Silicon Valley a run for its money in the future. I think that's really exciting. But do you think it's, this is, like, like, as Eric said, you think it's, 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 a, it's good to have that competition? Or, because if you look at the US, everybody's you know, 20 miles away between San yeah. Francisco and Palo Alto, right? Yeah. And that's actually a pretty strong thing, because you don't, you, you have, I can, actually, if I want to do a partnership with Facebook, I drive there, yeah. and in 20 <laughs> minutes I'm there. If I'm here, I have to fly, well, actually, you have a team in, in France, mm. and a good one. Yeah. But um, it, you see what I mean, it's, it's, it's wide, it's spread around Europe, so we have to fly, and this is why also people, f mm. you know, find it useful to be here, because they, they're all in one room. But I, shouldn't we have a Silicon Valley of Europe somewhere, like it was tried, I think, in, uh, in yeah. uh, Sofia Antipolis, you know, in the south? Yeah, I remember. You remember that? <laughs> I'm that old enough to remember. I don't know. That it, that's how INSEAD was born and all that, right? I mean, right. it was really interesting. Um, look, I think now, I mean, Facebook's a great example of a company that uses its own technology. I mean, everything that we do is, is into Facebook groups. Um, you know, we are all, a, a, a product's being launched and there's a group about it. You know, we're, we're working with a particular partner, um, whether it's a developer or a brand, and we form groups around that, and that's how we work. So we work as virtual teams around the world, and I think it's becoming easier with these social tools to stay connected and to, you know, the, the physical location is less important in terms of, right. you know, traveling from one pace to the other because you can connect so easily now. And I think the clusters of talent, you know, at a time when the economy is really difficult, you know, young people prefer cities, as Eric said, and they're going to cluster there and they're more likely to take risks because, you know, they haven't, they're not lured into the safe jobs that many of us were lured into when we finished university. And, you know, they're, they're tech savvy, they understand our world, and they know they may have, you know, developed an application already for Android, Android or iOS or something, and they're ready to build a business based on, um, you know, the open graph you have and the, the same, social plugins. Uh, do you feel the same as I do? That recently, I think Europe is is back very strong. We yeah. see Badu, you know, you have Vuga very just strong. after us, Deezer. Was our yeah. amazing successes? Well, I, I'm, you know, we live in a bit of a bubble right now because there's so much um, development and interesting companies, and our team have been traveling around the world since F8, and I think, like I said, there have been about 20 developer events, and the the ideas are mind-boggling. I mean, we've been everywhere. We've been to, we've been in Turkey a couple yes. of times. Istanbul. You know, yes. Italy, Spain. You know, we've been all over, and the talent is everywhere, yeah. and it's innovative and I think from difficult economic times you have these renaissance periods where great things can happen and I think we just might be in one of those times. What do you tell the governments about that? Well we work a lot with governments um, you know in across Europe and you know we, we our philosophy is that we will host as many sort of developers and we'll help accelerate as many businesses as we possibly can. And at, that, at this stage of our development, that's our contribution to governments and to the economy. The other thing that is really important is how um, Facebook helps small businesses. Yep. Um, if you're a small business, I mean, you can actually launch a product globally for the first time. You can That's reach true. people in countries you can never reach true. before, and you don't have any of the restrictions. Again, like I said, the barriers to entry are fading. And even small businesses, you know, the theme of the conference is, you know, social, local, and mobile. You know, small businesses in neighborhoods are, are seeing traffic ignite through connecting with people in the neighborhood on networks like Facebook. So I think it's a really exciting time. How about Google Plus? How about Google Plus? Without any transition, <laughs> what do you think about Google Plus and well, Twitter? What do you think about your competition? 
Um, well, it's only the European competition. I think, I think competition, um, as Eric said, is really a good thing. Uh, I really believe in that. I think it's, you know, um, Facebook, we, our sort of atomic unit is social and people. And so we approach our products always thinking about what, you know, the, the people who use it need. Um, and you know, other other companies approach it through different ways, and I think but are at they some really, point, are they not just building a competitor, of Facebook. Well, I think they are, think and um, and, and I think okay. I think that's okay. I think people will. Um, you have to have the best product, and you have to um, continue to make it interesting. I think F 8s gone a long way toward making Facebook much more relevant and interesting to us as individuals. You know, the timeline that we announced yes. is. When do we Such get that? a powerful tool. Um, soon. <laughs> um, yes, it's very soon. <laughs> I was hoping this week, but I didn't have any luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I but can't wait to play yeah, with it. My son coming. plays with it already. <laughs> My son um, switched his account into a developer account just to get yeah. the timeline. We had over a million people um, become developers to get the right. timeline. <laughs> well, great. You did a million. We did. Million, a million but it's developers. good because we, you know, it's a beta test for us, an extended beta. So we had a lot of feedback from a lot of talented people. But I think back to your question, we have to Facebook is becoming more interesting. I'm discovering music from my friends. I, I mean, love that. I love the it. The teaser and the Spotify it's integrations. Incredible. That changed my perception it of music. It changed everything. Because, because, because I go and now I, I can I listen have to fun your music. There. Yeah. No, well, but for me, it's like I, I have <laughs> zero knowledge <laughs> yeah, on music. Yeah, me too. Maybe it's a generational thing, but I, I have um, all these incredible young people in the office, and I'm humming tunes I've never heard of. But I'm discovering music through you That's know this new generation, and you know who are so active on these um, networks on Spotify and Deezer. So I think Facebook's becoming more and more interesting. And, you know, as like Netflix and some of the other applications start to launch, you know, I'm discovering news from my friends. You know, I, 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 I read as much news as I can, but I get so much news now on Facebook. I don't really have time to go to other sites. So, you know, I'm connecting more and more with, um, news sites I trust. And I'm not able to make it to those sites now. So they need to be social, and they need to develop apps like the Washington Post and the Independent and the Guardian. We're, I would also spend, of course, you know, the afternoon <laughs> with you um, uh, discussing about this. But tell, tell me, how is it to work with uh, Zook and Cheryl? Um, Facebook, like I said, is really um, a unique company. We use our own technology, so it's very open and transparent. Oh, so you have Facebook groups to discuss? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Um, the other thing that, you How know... How about mail? Do you, you don't have mail at Facebook? You just use Facebook? We use Facebook? mail, but it's, you know, people mainly update each other based on groups, which is interesting. Oh. And it's so efficient. You know, it's one place, like, you know, you, you create these weekly reports, we create them in a group now, so everyone knows what's going on, and, you know, it's, 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 it's fantastic. But back to your... Um, Cheryl. Cheryl and, and Mark, um, you know, they're very open, transparent um, people, and they, they, you know, involve people in, in the process. Like, every week, you know, in Silicon Valley, there's a tradition where you um, have a, have a Q&A or a Friday lunch or something of that nature. Um, ours is an open mic. We can ask Mark anything we want. It's quite late in the day for us. Uh, you know, it's like midnight for me, but you can still participate live every week in a conference with Mark. You can submit your questions, and so it's a very unique environment. I'm, I'm really privileged to be part of it. And they are very privileged to have such a, a leader. Thank uh, you. That, uh, as, as, as you, especially you know, being a woman, <laughs> which is more rare, and there's nothing, yeah. you know, it's just, you know, congratulating you on that because they're just looking at the room. Sorry, guys, but uh, there are not <laughs> enough Joannas uh, in the room, and we have quite a bit, of course. I hope that is uh, going to grow more. Yeah, but, uh, I think it will with this new economy that's emerging. I think, you know, the opportunities are there. I, I hope myself that it will change. It is. Um, yeah, it's it like is. Changing. And, you know, I'm always the optimist, the eternal optimist. And you've been an entrepreneur, you've sold your yeah, company, you've done Facebook. So I've what's next for you, Joanna? I'm here. Um, I, I, I shouldn't say this, but I want to stay here as long as they'll have me. I'm just having the time of my life. Yeah, that must be quite a ride. I think you made yeah. a very good choice here. It's a very good choice. This is very impressive, Joanna. So Thank you'll be you. around during the conference. People yes, can I'm talk here. to you. I and look we have to Facebook it. workshops, like, uh, yep. I think, every day. 
Thank you for including us on such a level and oh, giving us the opportunity. No, 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 that's the opposite. We're so glad that Facebook is so present here. Thank you so Thank much, you. Joanna. Pleasure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>